So here I am preparing for another open mic, tuning up the guitar, trying to get my hands warmed up, and basically just trying to get back into the mentality of performing, getting back on stage. Tonight's going to be at a place called Fisher's in Virginia Beach. I've never been there before. So I'm just kind of, you know, getting a feel for standing up and playing, kind of visualizing how I'm going to move and what I might sing and play. And just basically practicing. Coming down. This is the first song I'm going to do that I usually do called My Loss. And uh, I need to get some batteries though before I head over there. So I'm going to stop by Rite Aid. I probably shouldn't have done this last minute, but I had no choice. So yeah, I was looking at these batteries and I found a four pack for like $19 and I'm like, no, I need to get like a two pack. $13.50. That's still kind of pricey for some two batteries, but whatever. I didn't have the time to really bargain shop. So, you know, head over to the self-register. Even though if I just went to the person checking out, 13, probably would have been faster 49. because have I didn't have to go through all these like little button number? presses and stuff like that. She would have done it for me, but whatever. Use pin pad Technology. To transaction. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. But the sun is going down, and I have about 30 minutes to get there. The first performance is at 6. Looks like I might be late. Crap. I don't want to miss the first performance. Mine is at 6.15, so I'm right on after. I usually like to get there early so I have time to kind of absorb the environment. But now I'm stuck in traffic. And whenever you're stuck in traffic and you have to go somewhere, everything feels like it moves so much slower than it actually is. It's just like life is just like in slow-mo. And it kind of makes you more anxious. But deep breaths and, uh, you know, get into that zen mind state. And back on my way. Just getting on the highway, heading towards the oceanfront, uh, looking in my rear view mirror at the beautiful sunset while at the same time trying not to crash my car on the highway because I gotta look in front of me. It is like rush hour traffic time, sort of, so gotta stay alert. Alright, starting to pick up. I was stuck at the light for a couple minutes, but hopefully it'll be free flow until I get there. Is this supposed to be it? Oh, there it is. Fishers! This is it. I'm on in 10 minutes. No time to really mess around. This is the venue. First time here. So I know they got someone playing already, but I'm just gonna walk up in there and find the host. The host is Bob. I met Bob at another open mic. Very cool guy. He invited me out here a couple weeks ago, but this is the first time I had a chance to make it out. And there's Bob, setting up and getting ready. But anyway, it's my turn, and I gotta, without sound check or warming up or whatever, just pull the guitar out of the case, get on stage, and just play. Oh, but yeah, okay, adjusting the mic, getting the height right. And they had this little thing on the mic to cover it, I guess, so you can keep it sanitary. It looked like a little glove. Never seen that before, but it's kind of cool. I'm just trying to get my sound check as quickly as possible so I can start playing. Usually in these types of situations, you're just at the mercy of whoever is working the mixing board. First one's called My Watts. It's about being a new foreign town for the first time. Yeah, so that explanation of the song's meaning was not very impactful. I need to work on that. I don't know, just when I looked out at the audience, they just were giving me such a serious face with zero to little interest in their eyes. So I was just like, maybe I should just get on with it, play my song, you know? Coming down Off an ocean breeze All new sounds so at this point I'm kind of happy with the way it's going because 
Usually the first vocal note that comes out for me is off because I've been having a hard time trying to find that balance in the vocal mechanism. And usually it takes me the second to third note to find out how to get back on track. And I think the first note came out relatively okay. So the first couple of seconds of when I perform, I wouldn't say that I'm always nervous, but I'm definitely always stiff because there's a lot to get used to. It's not like practicing at home. It's a completely different environment. Things feel different. Things sound different. And here's the second song I did, Ready to Shine. And uh, I messed up the lyrics. It's funny because the lyrics are, the first few words are no more confusion, but I got confused and messed up confusion. <laughs> this is kind of ironic. So after I mess up like that, one of two things happen. Either I lose confidence and can't concentrate, or I'm just like, fuck it, I already messed up, now let's just like go and have fun. I will say that I like how this new guitar looks on me. I think the size is good. It feels good. Um, it's great for singing. I love how it looks. It sounds great too. And that was like the high note for Ready to Shine. Could have done better on that, but not mad at it. Now I'm finishing up with Alone With You. I usually do this one as the last one because it takes more finger dexterity throughout the whole song and I'm more warmed up at this point. Did some just go, woo? Don't know if that was for me or not, but. So I can't really see the audience, but I think at this point they were more engaged in my performance because I had the first two songs to kind of warm them up. I think after Ready to Shine, they were kind of more uh, accustomed to my vibe and my sound and the people in the back you can hear um, we're just eating and talking really loud um, but the people in front the other musicians were very attentive and they were listening so I appreciate that but yeah most that most of that noise is coming away from the back so overall Decent performance for my first time here at Fishers. That was relatively painless. Got through that unscathed. It was a good experience, definitely good practice. Now I'm just trying to pack up my stuff, put it in a secure place so I can kind of relax and enjoy the fruits of my labor by getting a drink and maybe something to eat because it's dinner time and I can't just leave after performing. Um, I want to stick around and watch the other musicians and just sort of pay my respects to the event and the other people participating. I decided to start off with a drink before I get into any food. Thank you. You want to start a tab? Yes, please. What's your name? Robert. Robert? Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's a very cool place. Uh, very friendly people. And it was nice to be out amongst other musician types. Had a pretty good view off to the side here. 
The drink was very refreshing, especially after singing. Just something to wet the throat, take the edge off, and just relax, you know. But now it's getting hungry. It's dinner time, so I went for some tacos, chicken tacos with some chips. But man, these chips were so salty. Like, it was like pure salt, but for some reason I couldn't stop eating it. I was like, oh my god, I'm just going to keep eating these salty chips with some salsa. Just eat it all up. Goes good with beer, I guess. Maybe they do that on purpose. They just put extra salt in it so you drink more. But whatever, it worked because I drank my beer. That was my second one. But I figure it's time to go home. Um, I listened to most of the performers. And uh, I was getting kind of tired because I'm an early bird now. But... You know, mission accomplished, had a good time, got on stage, met some new people. But overall, I think I did pretty good. It's funny because um, I think the only thing I can remember was that I messed up the lyrics for Ready to Shine. I, <laughs> the first one was like, no more confusion. I was like, I, what word was that? So I rushed in the confusion part, just no more confusion. Like, <laughs> Maybe no one noticed. I mean, whatever. No one probably cared. There was like just a handful of people in the audience watching anyway. And that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed this little open mic experience and I'll see you in the next one.